Most people will agree that Linux is the operating system of choice if you are privacy conscious. But I believe it has to be much more than words, so I have decided to put a number of Linux distros under the microscope. In this video, I'll be installing Wireshark on a newly installed Zorin OS and I'll be monitoring and analyzing the traffic. The goal is to find out and reveal exactly how much telemetry you may expect on this distro. For transparency, I am running the test on Zorin OS 17.2 Core Edition and I have OBS Studio as the only app I have launched on the computer since I needed to screen record the process. For starters, let me first update system packages using the command displayed on the screen to ensure everything is running as it should. Next on my terminal, I will run the command sudo apt install Wireshark to install Wireshark on this computer. Now this installation may take a moment, especially if you are on slower internet speeds. I do not want non-super users to be able to run Wireshark, so I will select the no option and hit enter. And now it should complete the installation process. Okay, it's time to fire up Wireshark and analyze all the network traffic. To run it as an admin, I'll run the command sudo Wireshark on my terminal. I want to be able to pick traffic from all locations, so let me choose the any option. And now we'll give it a moment to start displaying traffic. Okay, so I think this is as much traffic as we get, so let me export this data to a text document so that I can take my time to analyze it. So here's the big question. What traffic did I capture? Here is what I found. First, we have ARP requests. ARP stands for Address Resolution Protocol. These are local network discovery packages that help devices to communicate. So in this case, my system asks who has the IP address and waits for a response. These never leave my network and pose no privacy risk. Next, we have MDNS queries or multicast DNS. Here, the system is sending out MDNS requests like Google Cast and um, MeshCorp. So just in case you're curious, Google Cast is looking for Chromecast devices. If you don't have a Chromecast, this could be triggered by an app running in the background. Then MeshCorp is used for thread networking, often found in IoT or smart home devices. Since these are local network discovery packets, they don't go to the internet. There is no problem with these. However, if you don't use these features, you can disable MDNS by running the command displayed on the screen. We also have TLS connections. These are encrypted TLS connections to Fastly. So this shows that the system made a secure connection to Fastly and Fastly is a content delivery network used by many Linux distributions. The connection is initiated by my system to Fastly, which suggests it's requesting um, something rather than Fastly pushing data to me. This is usually associated with system updates or other legitimate services. It's okay behavior and nothing to be concerned about. Then we have unencrypted HTTP requests. Um, this is to an IP 146.190.225.48. And this is an IP address for Digital Ocean Server. This stands out because it's an unencrypted request to port 80. This is a standard HTTP GET request, which suggests that my system is requesting data rather than sending analytics. So this could be an update check, package repository query, or another background request. It is safe, and I can also tell because telemetry usually uses HTTPS, not HTTP, to encrypt data and avoid interception. 
In fact, many Linux distributions use DigitalOcean as a mirror for software repositories. So, next is what did I not see? First, no connections to known analytics or tracking servers. Secondly, there were no direct connections to Zorin OS servers. And finally, there was no hidden telemetry logs. So what this means for privacy is simple. Zorin OS does not appear to send telemetry to its developers by default. The capture traffic shows no connections to analytic servers, tracking platforms, or hidden telemetry logs. My final verdict is this. Zorin OS maintains a privacy-friendly approach with no obvious tracking or analytics-based telemetry. The only network activity seen is related to essential system functionality, such as network discovery or potential software updates. If you are curious about what telemetry other distros may send, leave a comment with a distro name and I will put it under the microscope as well. You may also check out the video where I explore Linux Mint and let you know if it's spying on you. In the meantime, I will conclude that Zorin OS is a solid choice for privacy conscious users. But like any other operating system, you may want to tweak a few settings to align with your specific needs. Also, you should be careful not to invite telemetry by using apps and services that are known to have privacy issues. If you do this, no Linux distro will be good enough for your privacy. I hope you have found this video helpful. You'll be doing us a world of favor by sharing it with someone. You may also like it as well as this is the best way you tell the algorithm that it's useful content. And as always, leave us a comment below. Let me know if I have missed out anything from this. And of course, if you love my colorful clothing, please leave some love for me in the comments. Till the next one, stay safe out there.